The Philippines, a scenic wonder of the world, is distinguished by rice fields, volcanoes and roads with jeepneys, as well as turquoise beaches with pure and crystalline water. The mountains and beaches here are among the best places in the Philippines to visit, with a variety of natural beauty and sports moods attracting tourists from all over the world to witness its splendor. The Philippines, located near Southeast Asia, is an island destination famed for its scenic beauty. The country has about 7,000 islands with white sandy beaches and dazzling seashores where divers can explore intriguing underwater life, marine critters and corals. Explore with us the 30 best places in the Philippines. Number 1. Central Luzon Vibrant Central Luzon is one of the most diverse regions in the Philippines. With more than 200 miles of gold sand coastline, active volcanoes and pea green rice fields extending down the hills, it's somewhat of a microcosm of the country as a whole. Foodies flock to Pampanga to sample Campapangan cuisine, which is influenced by Spanish and Malloy influences. Explore some of the region's best food on a well-planned farm, food and pilgrimage tour that includes Tarlac, Nueva Ecija and Pampanga. Number 2. Pangasinan Many visitors have yet to discover the lesser-known region of Pangasinan. The majority of visitors come to see Hundred Islands National Park which is made up of 123 tiny limestone islets where boats pootle around the low-lying specks of land. The lonely beaches accessed by boats from the small port town of Salamage are even less travelled. Snorkelling in the area is a fantastic way to get up close and personal with a huge clam population. Specialists have been repopulating this environment for years. Number 3. Church of San Agustin San Agustin Church, built in 1586, is one of the Philippines' oldest churches. San Agustin Church, designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is regarded as one of the most important destinations to visit in the Philippines. This church, which has a spectacular Baroque architectural design, has undergone many renovations, the most recent of which was in 2013. This church's design incorporates elements of Spanish and Chinese architecture. The church's big wooden doors include beautiful carvings that add to the grandeur of the chapel. Number 4. National Museum of the Philippines The National Museum of the Philippines is one of the best places in the Philippines to visit if you want to learn more about the country's culture, history and traditions. The museum is divided into four major parts, each of which houses a large collection of intriguing artifacts. Natural history, archaeology, art, zoology, anthropology and biological collections are on display. Unlike most other museums, the National Museum of the Philippines does not charge admission to visitors, because the government of the country believes that everyone should have the opportunity to learn about the various facets of the Philippines. Number 5. Don Sol Don Sol is one of the best spots to visit in the Philippines if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. It's a modest, charming, rural location where you may forget about the rest of the world and reconnect with your inner self and nature. The Mayon Volcano may be seen from here, which overlooks a large lake and lush greenery. The Kagsawa Ruins, located a short distance from the main settlement, will help you define Daraga's history. Finally, for a milder atmosphere and a panoramic view of Donsol, head to Lignon Hill in Legazpi. Number 6. Manila Bay Manila Bay is one of the world's largest harbours, with a circumference of 120 miles and an area of over 770 square miles. This bay, which is surrounded by mangrove swamps and mud flats, is fairly shallow and has a very mild tidal range. Manila Bay, which is entirely landlocked, stretches into southern Luzon and is one of the most important commercial areas in the Philippines. Manila Bay is one of the most romantic spots to visit in the Philippines. With its nice environment, vibrant atmosphere, tranquil waters and magnificent sunset views. Before we move on to tip number 7, let's take a quick dive into the history and culture of the Philippines. The Philippines boasts a rich yet turbulent history, shaped by a succession of rulers. Despite this, its people have emerged as friendly, resilient, family-oriented, deeply religious and artistic. The majority of the population is of indigenous, Spanish or mixed heritage. The country's history dates back to ancient times, with various tribes vying for dominance. 
Spanish colonization began in 1565, introducing Catholicism and reshaping the cultural landscape. The Philippines endured internal conflicts, Dutch and Portuguese threats, and eventually came under American control after the Philippine-American War. Independence was finally achieved in 1946, but the nation faced ongoing challenges, including martial law, political turmoil and insurgency. Nevertheless, it has persevered through these difficulties. The cultural tapestry of the Philippines is a fusion of traditional Filipino and Spanish Catholic customs, enriched by American and Asian influences. Filipinos are known for their strong family bonds, religiosity and appreciation for art, fashion, music and cuisine. The country's vibrant calendar is punctuated with festivals that blend ancient traditions with contemporary Catholic beliefs. Despite its complex history, the Philippines stands as a testament to the enduring spirit and cultural richness of its people. And now, let's go straight to tip number 7. Number 7. Batan Island Batan Island is one of the most intriguing spots to visit in the Philippines. Because it's a World War II historical hotspot, you can witness shipwrecks, damaged armories and other Japanese-owned structures. The island is small, but the beach is rather big, so you may spend your time sunbathing or simply walking barefoot on the white sand. Snorkeling and scuba diving are two of the most popular hobbies in this region because coral reefs may be found near the island's shoreline. Number 8. Apo Island No other destination in the Philippines compares to Apo Island for discovering the splendor of coral reefs and aquatic life. The island comprises only 7 hectares of land with the remaining 106 hectares covered in coral reefs with over 450 coral species. Furthermore, Apo Island is home to 650 marine fish species, making scuba diving, deep sea swimming and snorkeling the most popular activities on the island. You can swim with the green and hawksbill turtles because they are so close to the beach area and in the water. Number 9. The Ayala Museum Ayala Museum, located near the famed Greenbelt Mall, is one of the most well-known historical sites in the Philippines. This magnificent museum, visited by both tourists and locals, showcases a great collection of modern and ancient remains of Filipino history, culture and art spread across four levels. Ayala Museum's intriguing exhibitions include a pre-Hispanic gold adornment, a dreamy textile collection and rotating artwork displays. Visitors to Ayala Museum could also attend educational lectures, seminars and workshops that the museum hosts on a regular basis. Number 10. Danao Adventure Park The ecotourism destination of Danao Adventure Park, as its name suggests, is one of the best locations to visit in the Philippines for those looking for fun, relaxation, thrills and adventure. Visitors to this recreational area can participate in a variety of thrilling sports, such as zip lining, rappelling, bungee jumping, wall climbing, sky biking, parasailing, water rafting and boating. Danao Adventure Park is also known for having the Philippines' highest and longest zip line. Number 11. Nalusuan Island The scenic Nalusuan Island, nestled between Mactan Island and Bohol Province, was formerly little more than a sandbar. However, the soil was recovered in order to build the famed Nalusuan Island Resort, which today spans the entire island. The man-made resort island of Nalusuan is a beautiful marine sanctuary that draws a large number of tourists who come to enjoy a variety of underwater activities such as snorkeling and scuba diving. Other water sports available on Nalusuan Island for thrill seekers include parasailing, kayaking, jet skiing and banana boat riding. Number 12. Jumalon Butterfly Sanctuary the Jumalon Butterfly Sanctuary, which is home to a diverse assortment of colourful and exotic butterflies, is a must-see tourist attraction in the Philippines. Visitors to this gorgeous butterfly refuge could take a leisurely stroll through a small, beautiful rainforest filled with tropical floral plants. The Jumalon Butterfly Sanctuary also boasts a large glass exhibit with an interesting collection of beautiful butterfly specimens. Number 13. White Beach the Postcard Perfect White Beach stretches almost half of Boracay Island's west coast, stretching up to 4 kilometers in length. This spectacular beach is divided into three sections, each with its own distinct beauty. Station 1 has a calm, upscale environment. Station 2 has a buzzing mood with restaurants, shops, bars and pubs. And Station 3 has a natural, tranquil environment. 
White Beach is also ideal for a variety of thrilling water sports such as paragliding, snorkeling and scuba diving. Number 14. Manila Ocean Park Manila Ocean Park, located behind Quirino Grandstand, is one of the most well-known marine-themed parks and amusement parks in the Philippines. This park, which opened in 2008 and is situated across a beautiful area, is more of a sea museum. The Oceanarium, which houses over 270 species of marine animals and over 14,000 sea critters, is one of the park's main attractions. Penguin Talk Show, Sea Lion Show, Sharks and Rays Dry Encounter, All-Star Bird Show, Neon Rides and Fish Spa are among the other attractions in Manila Ocean Park. Number 15. Star City Amusement Park The air-conditioned, all-weather amusement park Star City is one of the Philippines' major recreational areas. It was founded in 1991 and covers an area of approximately 380,000 square feet. This park has an enticing theme decor and over 30 rides and attractions. The park has both outdoor and indoor games, with notable attractions including animal robotics, a zipline ride, walk on water, a 4D theater, and snow world. Number 16. Intramuros Intramuros is known as the World City since it was built by the colonial Spanish, notably Miguel López de Legazpi in 1571. This entire area is surrounded by huge, solid walls, some of which are as tall as 6 meters. This stone fortress, built as a defensive structure to protect the city from outside invasions, has survived numerous battles and natural disasters. In Chamuros, which spans around 64 hectares on the south bank of the Pasig River, was designated a historical monument in 1951. Number 17. Manila Cathedral Manila Cathedral, located in Intramuros and initially built in 1571, is considered Manila's principal Roman Catholic Church. This cathedral, also known as the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, serves as the residence of the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Manila. After withstanding numerous invasions and natural disasters for over 400 years, the current Manila Cathedral was erected in 1958. Manila Cathedral, with its awe-inspiring neo-Romanesque architectural design, is one of the most popular destinations to visit in the Philippines among architecture enthusiasts. Number 18. Bicol, Volcano Country Truly one of the best places in the Philippines is the Bicol region, which is famed for its active volcanoes and spicy food. Six provinces in the region are home to stunning natural beauty and pleasant people. While Bicol is not a traditional vacation location, its abundance of natural treasures makes it an ideal escape to experience the strange environment. Don't miss out on the whale sharks that live on the islands of Donsol and Sorsogon. The three major provinces of the Bicol region are the main attractions for every visitor to the Philippines, where they can find a variety of landscapes to fill their day. From Albay to Camarines Norte and Camarines Sur, the Bicol area provides visitors with an unforgettable thrill and stunning experience. The Mayan volcano with its exquisite shape is a pride to discover in Albay, while Camarines Sur is a great destination for water adventure and enjoyment. The city is an entertainment hotspot where you can either relax in your luxury resort or go out and challenge yourself with wakeboarding and other games. In this Philippines vacation spot, Camarines Norte, Bicol, you can photograph the Caramoan Peninsula and go to beach. Number 19. Eastern Visayas because this region is made up of three main islands, Samar, Leyte and Biliran, life revolves around the sea. The surf culture governs the waves and the beaches. Biliran is the green island, with rice terraces and sloped mountains dominating the interior and a long, white sand shoreline dotted with smaller islands. Divers flock to Leyte, while surfers seeking off-piste adventure flock to Samar's breaks. And Sila's Pink Sand Bay is one of the country's most beautiful beaches. It's also worth noting that this is one of the best connected areas of the country, making traveling here and visiting the area a breeze. Number 20. Zamboanga Large ponds and dense forests dominate parts of this area. Adventurers rent motorcycles to explore the region, while nature enthusiasts come to see the booming big bat population or to birdwatch among the mud flats. Take a boat from Zamboanga del Sur to the Santa Cruz Islands, a protected area with little infrastructure and eco-conscious technologies that turn vapors from the sky into possible water. 
spend time with the Samabangingi community, or embark on a lagoon excursion to witness the island's various bird species. Number 21. Calabarzon This part of the country is increasingly catching the attention of savvy travellers, so go now before more curious visitors find it. Many visitors travel to Tagay Tai, a charming seaside resort that serves as a gateway to Corregidor Island, a spit of land with spectacular vistas. Hot springs, waterfalls and various woods can be explored by water in wooden canoes or on foot in Laguna, while eager divers can explore the Verde Island Passage, the centre of international shorefish biodiversity in Batangas. Number 22. Cordillera Administrative Region the mountains of the Philippines are home to 2,000-year-old rice terraces that run down a hillside. The region's indigenous tribes have lived here for ages and continue to rule the territory. Staying in the Cordillera allows visitors to immerse themselves in the local culture, learning about the heritage and customs of these ancient settlements. Beyond the rice paddies, this is where those looking for pure mountain air will undoubtedly find themselves. Mountain riding, forest bathing and hiking. Number 23. Cebu. Cebu, often known as the Queen City of the South, is another popular tourist destination in the Philippines that visitors can visit while on vacation. It is the island's destination's most populated cosmopolitan area, located in the central Visayas province. With over 150 islands and islets, it is one of the best spots to visit in the Philippines. Cebu, which attracts 2 million vacationers each year, is a popular tourist location that may make your stay enjoyable. A series of mountains runs across the center of the island, with Cebu City located on the southeastern coast. The wonderful combination of mountains and sea produces plenty of fresh ingredients for the delicious local cuisine. Cebu is ideal for adventure seekers because it offers a plethora of activities that will keep you occupied throughout your stay. It is excellent to be the port of call for diving and snorkeling in the Philippines. The city not only takes you closer to marine life such as sea turtles and coral reefs, but also to the gigantic whale sharks that you may see at this unique tourist destination in the Philippines. And with its excellent diving places and stunning white beaches, Cebu will satiate your need for adventure. Number 24. Samal Because of its secret islands and beaches, the Philippines is a fascinating honeymoon destination in the world. Samal is one of the best places in the Philippines to visit for a romantic vacation, among other places to visit in the Philippines. Adventures can be had to the fullest here. Snorkeling, kite surfing, and diving are all options. Hikers flock here because of the caves and untamed pathways. Samal is a destination for everyone because you may organize a trip to every little and captivating beach. There are resorts and boutique cafes where you may unwind while appreciating the lush green scenery of this island. Number 25, Bohol. Bohol's wild beauty is the top attraction in the Philippines that should not be missed. If you are seeking for a vacation spot in June, this unusual island in the Philippines may be the perfect choice. Bohol is a UNESCO protected area recognized for its expansive landscape and distinctive geography. Bohol is home to a plethora of unusual wild flora and wildlife due to its more than 12,000 geological formations and abundant biodiversity. Its main appeal is a multitude of wildlife sanctuaries and natural reserves. Explore the caves, terrains, and untamed beauty that distinguishes Bohol. Number 26. Vigan Vigan, a World Heritage Site in the Philippines, is one of the most popular tourist destinations you can add to your itinerary. With its rich history and plethora of sites to explore, it is undoubtedly the best spot in the Philippines to learn about its past. Discover the combination of Chinese and Spanish culture in its architecture which has been present since the establishment of this tourist destination in the Philippines. Old monuments, forts, castles, and other notable structures can be found here. Explore the old districts and its notable buildings to have a better understanding of their local values. Number 27. Oslob Oslob is one of the most scenic tourist destinations in the Philippines that you may visit during your vacation. The city's stunning waterfalls, natural beauty, and, of course, the whale sharks are what have made it so famous among visitors. Oslob is only three hours from Cebu and is well served by local transportation. The oldest structures date back to 1690 and the church was completed in 1848. The city has a rich heritage that has been preserved. You can visit Oslob for the day or stay overnight to explore all of its attractions. 
adventure seekers should brace themselves for an adrenaline rush, as the city has an abundance of thrilling activities to choose from, such as paragliding. Number 28. Siargao There are islands and beaches that have helped the Philippines become Asia's top honeymoon destination. Siargao Island's opulent grandeur and romantic allure are ideal for a honeymoon. This Philippine destination is distinguished by beautiful blue oceans and distinctive topography. There are cliffs and waterfalls to admire, as well as picturesque beaches and a plethora of aquatic life. Surfing is an absolute must-do while visiting Siargao Island. Siargao is a popular surfing destination in the Philippines, and Cloudbreak 9 is one of the most popular spots for this breathtaking adventure. The beach's fascinating intensity and big waves make it a perfect vacation place for a wonderful holiday. You can even go island hopping to explore every nook and cranny. Number 29. El Nido Prepare to be awestruck by this place, which serves as a gateway to the picturesque Barcat Archipelago in the Philippines. You'd be swooning over this place's breathtaking environment and luxuriant vegetation combining with the turquoise waves. The massive limestone cliffs in the middle of the ocean add to the beauty of this site. You can also visit other tourist destinations in the Philippines, such as beautiful caverns and islets. The beach of Napcan and Leo are particularly popular. Indulging in adventure activities here should also be on your bucket list because cliff climbing, canopy walks and other activities are popular among adventure seekers. You can even go island hopping to properly appreciate the splendor of this location. Number 30. Tagaytay Tagaytay is a tranquil and beautiful hamlet near Manila, and it's one of the best locations to visit in the Philippines because it's located on the ridge of Tal Volcano. If you want to get away from the hectic pace of the city, this is the perfect place to go. The volcano, which is located in the center of a lake, has spectacular views and is one of the smallest active volcanoes. The beautiful beauty of this town will sweep you off your feet. The Philippines has become a popular tourist destination due to its surreal beauty, natural wonders, and legendary beaches. While these are the best places in the Philippines, explore the hidden roads and secret places on the island that will make your vacation unforgettable for a lifetime. In the Philippines, there are fancy retreats, lodges, and hotels to have a leisure stay, as well as cafes where you can delve into the great flavor of Philippian food. Make sure you plan your visit during the best months, as the country is prone to storms and typhoons throughout specific months. The dry season, which lasts from December to April, is regarded as the ideal time to visit the Philippines. Flights are available from major cities, making the Philippine Islands a readily accessible holiday location.